Lateral thinking puzzles are strange situations in which you are given a little information and then have to find the explanation. Also known as story with a hole, these puzzles are designed to force participants to ask questions one wouldn't typically ask. If you attempt to solve the puzzle as simply and linearly as you can, you'll quickly find yourself in a dead end of information. Instead, one must avoid even the most basic assumptions and doubt every single aspect of the premise. To play, the quiz master, usually me, reads the prompt and the chatters ask yes or no questions to uncover new information about the story until the quiz master feels it's been sufficiently solved. That's all you need to know. Have fun. Um, okay, this one's called We Know? Why Know? Vino? I don't really want to. I don't know. I don't know. A man was enjoying his meal at a dinner party and had just started a delicious dessert. Why did he deliberately knock over a salt cellar into his dessert and ruin it? Has anyone ever referred to their salt shaker as a salt cellar? I've never heard that, but anyway, let's read it one more time. A man was enjoying his meal at a dinner party and had just started a delicious dessert. Why did he deliberately knock over the salt cellar into his dessert and ruin it? So, yes or no questions. Did he want another helping so he ruined his? No, that's not it. Didn't want more. He knocked over the whole ass cellar, bro. <laughs> He's actually got like a silo of salt and it's just spilled out over the... Um, I heard a gird. Yeah, it, it, uh, Ty showed it to me the other day. We were laughing at it for a long time. Was he in any danger? He was not in any danger. No. Was he excited to be at dinner? He was. Um, in fact, he was enjoying his meal. Yeah, a man was enjoying his meal. It was, it was all standard prior to this occurrence. Uh, did he know it was salt? Yes, he did know it was salt. Did he think it was sugar? That's silly. No, he did not think it was sugar. Playing some for honor over the side. Let's get it. Was he trying to leave the table? He was actually not trying to. Oh, Linz Lodens was in the game. Aw, she left. She doesn't want to play with me. Uh, was he trying to leave the table? He wasn't trying to leave the table. Does the type of dessert matter? The type of dessert does not matter, actually. Is it- how do I say that word, though? Is it wino? Wino? Is it vino? I don't understand what that word is. I'm gonna be honest with you. Was he sharing it with anyone? He was not sharing it with everyone. Um, I mean, I would assume other people at the table also had their own serving. Uh, did he pass out and knock it over? No, he did not. Was he sharing it with- no, it's a pseudo-derogatory term for people who drink a lot of wine. Is <laughs> like a drunk, but just for wine. <laughs> a wino. <laughs> oh, I like that. I'm gonna call you that. I like that you just gave me a term to describe yourself. <laughs> Did he eat it after? After he poured the salt on it? Did he eat the dessert after? I just want to make sure I understand that question before I answer it. Did he eat the dessert after he poured the salt on it? Is that your question? Yeah. No, yeah, uh, no he did not. He did not eat the... Um, was he faking a stroke? He was not faking a stroke. <laughs> Surprisingly, that actually wasn't the first time that's been asked. Is he the host of the party? Is he diabetic? No and no. Well, no and maybe, but I don't know. It doesn't matter. <laughs> Was he on a diet? He was not on a diet. Was he trying to offend someone? He was not trying to offend somebody. No. Was he drunk? He was... doesn't matter. Yeah. No. Was he faking drunk? He was not faking drunk. No. Uh, was it a cake? Did he want the whole thing to himself? No, he did not. He was not spilling the salt. <laughs> to get everyone's hands off of it. Yeah, there's the end. Was he healthy? Um, sorry, I missed that one. I mean, I, I, yeah. Yes, he was. It, it wasn't a health-related decision. By any means. Nope. 
I, I wish I, I almost want to like categorize my clues, like clues the book gives you and clues I want to give you, because there are clues I want to give you, but I also don't want to give you clues at all, because it's so fun to struggle, because when you struggle, you feel so good when you finally get it. Did he need to use the restroom? He didn't need to use the restroom. That was not his reasoning. Um, let's see, did he, does he do drugs? Maybe, doesn't matter. Did he have friends at the party? Maybe, doesn't matter. Are we caught up on some sort of sneaky wordplay? It doesn't seem like it. Why don't you start by, let's, this is a, this is something Sailboat taught me when I get stuck playing this game, but why don't you state everything you understand so far, right? A man was enjoying his meal at a dinner party and had just started a delicious dessert. Everything's going fine. He's enjoying his meal. He starts eating dinner. Or he starts eating dessert, excuse me. I know, she's really good. Uh, why did he deliberately knock over the salt cellar into his dessert and ruin it? Suddenly he decides, I'm going to deliberately knock over the salt into his dessert and ruin it. I literally don't think we've asked a question with a yes. I feel like you had one. Wait, let me check. I, I think you had one early on. Did he know it was salt? That was a yes. There was one question that was asked that was... That was good. Oh, uh, yeah. To finish... Emma. <laughs> to finish eating dinner. What do you mean to finish eating dinner? Put it... Write a full question there for me. He only knocked it into his own food? Correct. Bros on crud, that's the only answer. <laughs> that's right. Oh. Um... Did he want to stop himself from the temptation? No, he didn't. I think that's honestly just another way of you asking if it was a health decision. So no, it was not, it's not about health. He didn't do it because he was calorie counting. He didn't do it because he was causing a scene. He wasn't having a stroke. It wasn't spiritual. No. Is it the sea salt caramel dessert? <laughs> no, that's a good. I like that though. No, that's not it. Did someone do something at the party that he didn't like? Yes. Someone did do something at the party he didn't like. That's. You're right, Ty. I think that might be the strongest question that's been asked so far. I think I think that's your your lead right there. A few more. Did he want to leave early? No, he didn't want to leave early. No. Damn, I really thought I got it with the caramel. <laughs> Maybe it's just because I was so excited about the question. <laughs> I misled you with my, my tone. Was he signaling something to someone? No, he was not signaling anything to someone. Did anyone eat after he poured the salt? I would assume they, yeah, they ate. They continued to eat their desserts. Um, they, sh they shist continue. They just continue. Did he? Um, did he continue what? Please continue what specifically? Was he trying to blame the chef or waiter? No, he wasn't trying to blame the chef or waiter. Did he want other people to not steal a dessert? No, he wasn't protecting his dessert. Did he go somewhere after he knocked the salt? Uh, I feel bad, but I'm going to do the same thing to this question, too. What do you mean by go somewhere? Like, like to find somewhere, like, another room or, like, leave the building? I, I would say probably not. I'm going to guess probably not. But if you asked the perfect question, I might have a yes for you. Did he go to the restroom? No. No. I think that question's already been asked. Yeah, we need we need some way of like, oh shoot, I'm gonna drown here. We need some way to like keep track of everything we've learned and everything we know isn't the case and is the case. He did, I will say. He did continue eating, but he did not just continue eating. I'm gonna give you. I'm gonna try to help you here, cause 
There, you just don't know what question I'm trying to force you to ask here, so I'm just gonna help you. Because that question is kind of awkward to navigate around, but... He didn't just continue eating, but he did continue eating. Did he take it to go? No, he did not take it to go. Did he leave the building? No, he didn't. He, put, he poured a pillar of a cellar of salt on it so they would let him take it home. Uh, did he leave the building? No, he didn't. Did he go to the food desalter after? No, he did not go to the food. Did he eat anything besides his own dessert? <laughs> Technically, no, he did not. Wait, so he did keep eating the dessert. He did keep eating... <laughs> it's, it's a hard question to answer. He kept eating dessert. He kept eating dessert. <laughs> did he take the wrong flavor? No, I asked if he wanted someone else's dessert and you said no. He doesn't want someone else's dessert. That's still true. I asked if he wanted someone else's dessert, he said no. That's correct. He does not want someone else's dessert. Did he have the wrong flavor? No, he did not have the wrong flavor. I'm glad I'm glad you re-asked that though, Ty, because it's a subtle detail that you guys are missing here, and I think if you address that confusion you have there, it might help you see something. I like Ty <laughs> I feel like Ty's getting mad. <laughs> I want to tell you right now that I have never, f the lateral thinking puzzles that I've truly loved the most have absolutely made me angry. They almost always do. Um, <laughs> and I, and it, and that anger makes me feel like more of an ass when I have the answer and I'm smiling the entire time. So, <laughs> but, uh, the, they aren't necessarily not going to make someone angry. They're, they're hard, but I don't think Ty's angry. I think he's just, I think he's just trying to understand <laughs> the questions as they're coming in in random sporadic order here. There's a lot of gaps between things I'm saying about the game. And... Nah, I'm mad. Okay. Good. That means you're invested. <laughs> that, means you, that means you have to get to the end. That means you have to find out what the answer is <laughs> or you're gonna be mad eternally. <laughs> can either feel justified in your anger and be like, see, that was a stupid riddle. Or you can get to the end and be like, yeah, okay, I guess that makes sense. He gets another. That's right. He goes and gets more. That's exactly right. Did they take it back and give him something else? No, they didn't give him something else. He just went and got more. All right, so he gets another slice. He gets another serving, I'll say. I don't, because we don't really actually know what it is. So why did he do that? He pours salt on his own food and then just goes and gets more? But we know something else. We know something else, don't we? We know something else happened at the party. Did he eat the other slice? As in the slice that he went and got? He, did he get the? Did he eat the next serving that he got? He didn't eat the one covered in salt. He did eat the new one. Did he eat most of his dessert, spill the salt, and ask for more serving? No, no. But that's a good guess. Someone made him mad. I, I wouldn't say mad. I wouldn't say mad. Did someone scare him? No, nobody. Well, no, nobody scared him. Nah. Might, might save us some time. Did whoever did the thing prompt him to spill the salt? Um. What do you mean by prompt him? Like, did they ask him to spill the salt? Or did that... Are you asking if that thing caused him... Is what prompted him to spill the salt? I'm going to say yes to that. I think I know what you're asking there. I think you're asking me if that action is what prompted him to spill the salt. And the answer is yes to that. That's a, that's a, that's a good, good question. 
Was he trying to exact revenge on the person that did the thing? He was not trying to exact revenge in any capacity. He was not. He wasn't mad about it, and he just got another slice. That is correct. That is correct. Did he do anything besides eat the second slice? Uh, yeah, he, I mean, he continued on dinner like he would normally. He just, he just had a, you know, a regular chit-chat and ate his second slice. Also, we never, just to be clear, we never established that it's a slice, but I'm, I'm comfortable continuing to call it a slice. It doesn't matter, but that isn't a given fact. It does it just says dessert. Was he bothered by how full the salt cellar was? <laughs> no, he was not OCD. <laughs> It's an open salt dish. I looked it up. Oh, that's good to know. Like, like a little salt container you might scoop salt out of. Did the host care that he stayed? No. I mean, as much as a host would care that people stay at their dinner party, I'd say. Probably, probably wanted them to stay. Just in hopes that they're, they were having fun. But it's not it's not an important detail. <laughs> Did not anyone else to have dessert. Nope, that wasn't it. Oh, no, no, no. Man, let me let me look at these clues here and see if maybe I can look be confident enough in one of them to talk you into trying to hear one. Oh, actually, the first clue would definitely help you guys. I'm positive it's salted caramel. All right, a slice of salted caramel. <laughs> um, I think I need a hint. Okay, that's one yes for a hint. We have four people in the chat right now, so if I can get one more person saying they would like a hint as well, I'll provide one. <laughs> I, I think this next one will be gentle enough that you'll be like, ah, and you'll move on. Yes, hint, four, four. Okay, all right, we're going to get a hint. Right, I'll sleep. Um, the hint is, uh, let's read it. Okay, it's, he did not want to eat the dessert, but didn't want to appear rude. So, and I think that second part is obviously the more important thing. He didn't want to appear rude. So he didn't like it and wanted to not eat it. He didn't like the one that he spilt salt on it after he spilt salt on it. It's not that he didn't like the dessert initially. He was enjoying the, the dessert initially. So he spilled salt on it and got another one. Yeah, no, he, he was enjoying it. Something happened that bothered him. He decided to spill salt on it and get another one. He got it, but he didn't want to eat the salty one. You're right, correct. And we just learned he did not want to eat the dessert, but he didn't want to appear rude. So would that mean that's telling us he spilled the salt onto his dessert so he could get another one because he didn't want to appear rude. No, there's a very good answer. Damn, dude. <laughs> yeah, Tim, your line goes through is an answer. It's a very good answer. Okay. He goes to dinner. He enjoys dinner, dessert comes, he starts eating dessert, he's having a good time, everything's normal. Boom! Someone does something he doesn't like. And he decides, I need to spill salt on this dessert, and I need to go get myself a new one right now. What happened to his dessert that made him go, I don't want to be rude, but I'm just going to go get another one. I know you all can relate to this. I know you can. Did someone sneeze on it? Bingo! And Lindsay, I'm just going to connect all the dots that you've already put out there. Lindsay already pointed out that it was the host. The host sneezes on the dessert, and he doesn't want to appear rude, so he deliberately knocks a bunch of salt onto it. See, I felt like I didn't tell you anything new there. I just put it all together, and then it made it so clear to you. I, that's why I feel like... There needs to be some way where we compile all the things we're learning as we go so you can look at it and go, oh, duh, it's 
Because as soon as you, as soon as I said it all like that together, it was just like, yeah, he sneezed on it. 